Today we're diving into the world of software engineering and how large language models, LLMs, are changing the game. This paper, Agents in Software Engineering, Survey, Landscape, and Vision, explores the use of LLM-based agents in various software engineering tasks. What are the key takeaways from this paper? The paper highlights the growing trend of using LLMs as the core of intelligent agents in software engineering. It presents a framework for understanding these agents, which includes three key modules, perception, memory, and action. The paper also discusses the challenges and opportunities associated with this approach. Let's start with a framework. Can you elaborate on the perception module? The perception module is responsible for receiving information from the external environment and converting it into a format that the LLM can understand. This can include textual input such as code, but also visual input like UI sketches and even auditory input such as audio recordings. The paper emphasizes the need for further research in exploring these different modalities, especially beyond the traditional token-based textual input. Interesting. So the agent needs to be able to see and hear the world around it. What about the memory module? The memory module stores knowledge that the agent can use to make decisions. It includes three types of memory, semantic, episodic, and procedural. Semantic memory represents general world knowledge, often retrieved from external sources like documentation or APIS. Episodic memory stores information specific to the current task, such as past interactions or examples. Procedural memory encompasses both implicit knowledge stored in the LLM's weights and explicit knowledge written in the agent's code. That's a lot of information to manage. How does the action module tie all of this together? The action module is where the agent takes action based on its perception and memory. It includes both internal actions, such as reasoning, retrieval, and learning, and external actions, such as interacting with the environment or other agents. The paper explores various techniques for each type of action, including chain of thought reasoning, retrieval methods, and different approaches to updating the agent's knowledge. This framework seems to provide a comprehensive view of LLM-based agents in software engineering. What are some of the challenges that the paper identifies? One challenge is the lack of exploration of the perception module. While LLMs have shown promise in processing textual code, there's limited research on using other modalities like visual or auditory input. Another challenge is the need for agents to play multiple roles in complex tasks. For example, an agent might need to generate code, test it, and even debug it, requiring a diverse set of capabilities. So the agents need to be more versatile. What else? The paper also highlights the lack of a comprehensive code knowledge base that agents can use for retrieval. This is crucial for semantic memory and can significantly improve the agent's reasoning abilities. Additionally, the paper addresses the issue of hallucinations, where LLMs may generate incorrect or non-existent information. Mitigating these hallucinations is essential for improving the reliability of LLM-based agents. Hallucinations are a common problem with LLMs. What about the efficiency of multi-agent collaboration? Multi-agent collaboration can be very powerful, but it also presents challenges. Each agent requires significant computing resources, and communication overhead can be substantial. The paper suggests exploring ways to improve the efficiency of multi-agent systems, such as optimizing resource allocation and minimizing communication costs. It seems like there's a lot of room for improvement in terms of efficiency. What about the potential for software engineering technologies to benefit the development of agents? The paper argues that software engineering techniques, particularly those related to code, can significantly contribute to the advancement of the agent field. For example, software testing techniques can be used to identify and address potential defects in agents. Software tools such as APIS and libraries can enhance the capabilities of agents, especially those that interact with external systems and software package management techniques can be adapted for managing agent systems, ensuring compatibility and integrity. 
That's a fascinating perspective. So the paper emphasizes the potential for a mutually beneficial relationship between software engineering and the agent field. What are some of the opportunities for future research that the paper identifies? The paper suggests several opportunities for future research. One is to explore the use of different modalities in the perception module beyond traditional textual input. Another is to develop techniques for enabling agents to effectively play multiple roles in complex tasks. The paper also calls for the development of a comprehensive code knowledge base that agents can use for retrieval. So we need to expand the agent's capabilities and provide them with more knowledge. What else? The paper also emphasizes the need for research on mitigating hallucinations in LLM-based agents. This includes understanding the causes of hallucinations and developing effective mitigation methods. Finally, the paper suggests exploring ways to improve the efficiency of multi-agent collaboration, such as optimizing resource allocation and communication protocols. It seems like there's a lot of work to be done in terms of improving the reliability and efficiency of LLM-based agents. What about the potential for software engineering technologies to contribute to this advancement? The paper highlights the potential for software engineering technologies to play a significant role in the development of agents. This includes leveraging software testing techniques to identify and address defects, utilizing software tools to enhance agent capabilities, and adapting software package management techniques for managing agent systems. So the paper presents a compelling vision for the future of LLM-based agents in software engineering. What are the key takeaways from this paper? The paper provides a comprehensive framework for understanding LLM-based agents in software engineering, highlighting the importance of perception, memory, and action modules. It also identifies key challenges, such as the need for more diverse modalities, multi-role capabilities, and a comprehensive code knowledge base. The paper concludes by emphasizing the potential for software engineering technologies to contribute to the advancement of the agent field. This was a great discussion on the technical aspects of this paper. Thank you for your insights.